Welcome to video 94 in series 3 and in this video I'm going to pretty much make animations with a dynamic crosshair and then set up the controller. Okay so with the canvas dynamic crosshair selected add a animator component and I'll also make a new folder for the controllers and I'll call this folder uh, dynamic crosshair. Okay now coming back, select it again, so I added that so that I could go to the animations panel and then just add in animations. Now just watch out, sometimes it can look really odd. This is for the gun, it's, it's, I think it's just a bug or something like that. So you can sort of click around, click away, and then yeah, do that. So if you have the rifle selected, just don't ask me, it just can look a little odd for some reason. So just click away, come back to it. Because I've got the animator component, I should be able to click create animation clips without it getting confused because the parent has animations on it so for some reason it can get a little confused when you try and add animations to a child game object. Okay so in the dynamic crosshair folder I'll name this new one idle crosshair. Okay now for the parameters of all the properties I see these top bottom right and left those are the images that's what I want to have and I want to add the rect transform anchored position property. So repeat this process for the bottom right and left. Okay. And I won't need this uh, keyframe all the way over there. Just delete that. Bring this over to Five milliseconds and this is fine for the idle animation so save that and make a new clip this one I will call uh, walk crosshair and let me just go back instead of adding all of those again I can copy these come back and paste them in to save me some time and just put it minus 30 so I'm going to move it out you can see the crosshair uh, moving out, 30 and 30. So this is walking. Save that. Now make a new clip. This one is going to be the run crosshair. Okay, again, paste in all of those. Now minus 45. And 45 for the positive ones. And you can see that the crosshair pieces are far apart now. Okay, save that. And just double check that they're all okay. So go to the previous ones. Now I went to idle crosshair and it's showing 45s. Sometimes it just does that. So you gotta move the, uh, uh, this, I forget what this is called actually, uh, the slider. Anyway. And, uh, then you can see it's gone. It's showing me the values that I had originally. Now let me go to walk again. Let's move this. And it's called, it's now 30, which is good. That's what I had set. Uh, let me just check the run. Good, it's 45. Now I'll go to the animator. So my animations are there already. And the animator is called uh, Canvas Dynamic Crosshair. I think it's just all a bit much and I've misspelled that. So I'll just fix that. So the A is there. Okay, that's better. And uh, let me just sort these out. I will have a new parameter. It's going to be a float. It will be called speed. So depending on how fast the player is moving, that determines uh, what animation will be playing. So let me just go ahead, put speed. If it's greater than two, I just know this from uh, recording the speed. You'll see that uh, you'll write a script that does exactly that. Uh, player capture speed will be the, I think, the method that will do that. And you will write the code, which is very simple for capturing the player speed. And then you can see how fast the actual player moves at when they're sprinting or just running. I just call it walk, but it's, it's, it is basically running. Uh, okay, so coming back, no exit time, 0.1 transition duration. And same thing for the return. This is also speed, but this time less than 2. No exit time, again, 0.1 transition duration. Going from walk to run, again speed, 
greater than 7 this time, no exit time, 0.1 transition duration, coming back, again speed, less than 7, no exit time, and 0.1. Okay, so let's go to that, just check it on, make sure the animator is enabled. Good. And that should pretty much be it. Uh, what I will do is, uh, for a change, I want to throw these items out of the um, player, so that they aren't always appearing as the first thing. So let me just bring them out. Okay, that's fine. And uh, what I will then do is to enable them, so that they are actual objects. Let me just move them as well. So the player actually has to go and uh, pick them up. Let me just move this one here, bring it down. This one too, bring it down. Okay, that's good enough. Save that, hit play. Okay, good. So, uh, well, there's no obvious problems or anything, of course. Um, well, the, it, actually, the animator should be playing. Let me just stop that for a moment. Go back to the assault rifle. Select that. Go to animator. You can see that it is, in fact, uh, in the idle crosshair animation. Let me just set the speed to, uh, uh, to say, 3 meters per second. Come back here. There you go. You can see the uh, crosshairs have moved apart. Let me change it to 8. And there you go, you can see it's gone back even further. I mean, it's gone out even more. Okay, let me set that back to zero. Okay, excellent. So just return back to idle. Perfect. And that's pretty much it. And that was, I was just clicking on the, I was trying to click the I button for the inventory, but I accidentally clicked O. And that shows me that I haven't removed a test uh, method that I had back a fair bit back, which is to test the game over when I click O. So it is important when you uh, make test methods, make sure to delete those lines of codes. We'll comment them out when you're finished with them. Okay, but anyway, that's it for this video. So we've done a pretty cool thing. We'll set up the animation for the uh, dynamic crosshair. So that's all done. I think next thing we'll do work on is probably the uh, muzzle flash. All right, so I'll see you then.